Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to ELA class. Today is Monday, July 19th, 2021. First up is our do now. Open up that chat, open up that chat, and let me know how you're all feeling today. Let me know. Open up that chat and let me know how you're feeling. We're using a scale of one through 10. One being the worst or a crummy day. You know, you didn't wake up so good today. You didn't have a good breakfast. Not doing your best. Or 10, being ready to face the day. It's a beautiful day. Tell me how you're feeling. One through 10 in that chat. Let me see that chat. Okay, let me see it. All right, keep it up. Also, what I need you to do as soon as you enter that number, um, remember, you can always chat me privately. I want to make sure that um, if you are not comfortable sharing your day with everybody else, you can share that with me privately and we can talk about it later. Okay. Number two for your do now is to have that Nearpod open and ready for that class code. It'll be coming soon. Okay. Coming soon to a slide near you. Today's learning target. I can understand that stories have five elements and I can identify what questions reveal the setting of a story, okay? That's what we're gonna be focusing on. We're going to briefly go over the five elements and then we're going to really focus on that setting. The five elements of a story. Here, they're put in six because I combined two, I, I separated two and I'll show you how I did that. So the first is characters, the people or animals or even objects that are doing the actions in a story, okay? They're doing the actions in a story. We have the setting, where and when the story happens, okay? When and where it happens. And then part of the conflict, we have a problem, okay? Something goes wrong, okay? Something goes wrong. Maybe um, Little Red Riding Hood meets a wolf, right? Um, that's something that definitely goes wrong. And then we want to know how that problem gets solved. Okay, how do we solve that problem? Okay, then we have the theme. The theme is very important because this is really the lesson that the author wants you to learn by reading his or her book or story, okay? And the theme applies to real life, real life situations, okay? It doesn't teach me more about the story, but it teaches me a lesson that I can use in my own life and that you can use in your own lives. And then we have the plot. The plot are different, events that happen in the story, okay? We can call it sequence or in order, right? Events happen in the story. They happen first, they happen next, and then, and finally, or lastly, okay? So the plot of different events in a story. Here it is. The moment you've all been waiting for, your Nearpod code, your Nearpod class code. It is WX514, WX514. I'm going to throw that in the chat for you while I get started here. WX514. WX514. All right. Good job. All right. I'm going to be waiting for you scholars to check in. Come on, students, get in there. Get in that Nearpod and get ready for our lesson on setting. Okay. Here we go. What is a setting? Great question. My grandpa thinks he's so funny. This morning at breakfast, he asked me if I knew what building in our town had the most stories. I told him it has to be our apartment building. Pretty much every other building in our town is only one, two, or three floors high. Okay, so the little girl's answering one, two, or three fourths. But how many stories does a building have? It's the different floors, right? Grandpa thinks he's funny. Ours is eight. He just shook his head, smirked, and said, It's actually the library. Ugh, I mean, he's not wrong. The library has a lot more than eight stories, even if they're all on one floor. There's short fiction, science fiction, fantasy. Think about that. Think about what the stories that you've read, the books that you've read, and think about what they all have in common. What do they all have in common? And besides just having words and a cover, okay? What do they have in common? Makes a story a story. 
Okay, go ahead. Throw it in there. Let me see what you got. Let me see what you've got. Okay? Let me see. What do you have? All right. Good. Okay, we're going to move on. It turns out all stories share five important elements. But where should we start? Oh, where? Every story has to take place somewhere, and that somewhere is called the second. A story might take place in the desert or in the snowy wilderness, a big city or a small town. Some stories take place in just one room. Setting isn't only about where. Okay, so which of the following has to do with a story setting? Okay, we want to think about this closely. Let's read all of our answers first. Always read all of our answers first in multiple choice questions, okay? We have A, what or who? We have B, where and when? We have C, how and why? And we have D, where and why? Okay, let's look at those questions really quickly. Or in those answers. What did we learn about what and who says something in a story? Did we learn about where and when the story is happening? Did we read about or see about how and why people were doing certain things or how how or why that story was happening? Did we see where and why that story was happening? Now I'm looking at this and I'm saying, okay. There are automatically, there's always one answer I can just get rid of, right? And I know that's what and who. They didn't really talk about that, what and who the story is about, right? So we can cross that letter out, cross that out. Um, when and where, okay, they named some places, deserts, um, forests, beaches, and when. They said future, present, modern, present or modern times or the past. Okay, so we don't need that one in there. Did it talk about how and why the story was happening? I don't remember anything that really explained that to me or that I heard how they were doing something or why they were doing something. And now here's D, where, again, we heard about deserts, beaches, um, um, forests, right? And, but why? Did we hear why they were going to the desert or the beach or the forest? No, okay, so we're down to B and D, okay? So give me a one for B and a two for D. You can either write it in the chat or you can show me in your camera. A one for B, a two for D. Which one? All right, nice job. Because where and when, right? They told us where, beaches, deserts, forests, and when. Modern day, they should, I think they showed something that looked like Mars, right? Future. Okay, so they told us when. They didn't tell us why. So that's why B is the best answer. You always want to choose your best answer, okay? Nice job today. So let's go back and review what we learned, okay? So it is our wrap up. Did we meet our learning target? Remember that our learning target was I can understand that stories have five elements and I can identify what questions reveal the setting of the story. Who can tell me really quickly what those were in the chat, in the chat? Was it what and who? Was it where and why? Was it when and where? Show me in the chat, show me in the chat. All right, looks like a lot of you met your learning target today, okay? Remember, you can always chat me personal or public, depending on how comfortable you are in the room right now, okay? Um, so let's look. We reviewed an anchor chart with the five stories of, of, of uh, with the five story elements, so we learned about those. Then we completed the setting lesson, the setting portion of the Nearpod lesson, right? Stay tuned for our next lesson on characters. It'll be our second element, and that will be on characters. And here we have some characters right there waving goodbye to you for the day. All right, I hope you guys had a great lesson, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow.